Welcome back to Classic Rides. One of the striking things about an Airstream is the aluminum exterior. And seeing one of these babies going down the road with a polish job on it is not only beautiful, but it's unmistakable. Well, here to help us put a mirror polish on our coach is Tom Newman from Perfect Polish. Uh, thanks for having me. Ken. Thanks for coming by, Tom. So tell me about our coach's exterior. Well, we're going to concentrate on one little area here, but the coaches of this vintage, uh, most of them have been around for 35, 40, 50 years. They've been outside this entire time, and they suffered considerably from corrosion from the elements, also road rash, scratches, uh, any number of imperfections in the surface. Tom calculates that our 27-foot Airstream will take about 200 hours to polish. This is a good project to do a little at a time. Our 1970 Airstream also has a clear coat finish that needs to be stripped before polishing. We've already stripped the clear coat from a small area of our trailer using an industrial paint stripper that was brushed on and washed off after a few hours. First polishers you'll see us use are what's called compounding polishers. Um, this one is uh, based on a half inch drill and the other one is one that you're probably more familiar with is a right angle car buffer. This is mostly what we use in automotive right. polishing. Right. Yeah. Uh, either work. Um, we tend to use the drill when we're working uh, shoulder high to, to knee high mm -hmm. and we use this when we're stretched out a bit trying to work the upper areas or something like right. that. And uh, they each have a, uh, a backup pad which has hook and loop mm -hmm. type attachments and we use wool compounding bonnets. Tom uses a centering tube to attach the polishing pad to the drill. This will keep the tool from wobbling as we work. Talk to me about this. This thing looks like the Jetsons. Yeah, this is great. Right. This is a great old American made tool. It's been made for 50 years unchanged. Uh, very rugged, very durable, and it's a, what we call a dual head random orbit. And these things rotate like this. Yeah. And they're free to spin, but uh, you'll see when we get into the final stages of polishing that uh, we wrap um, cloth around it and mm -hmm. use that to do the final buffing. We'll also use a series of polishing compounds from an aggressive one to a fine finishing polish. These are specifically designed for aluminum aircraft and airstreams. And I've got probably about a teaspoonful here. All right. I probably won't quite use all of that. Let the polishing begin. Tom starts by spreading the compound over the area. Using the more aggressive polishing compound, Tom slowly pulls the polisher down in one direction. Then he moves over and repeats the process, loading more polishing compound onto the pad if necessary. Don't use too much compound or the polisher will simply slip over the surface. When the polishing pad gets caked with compound, use a spur tool to remove it by holding the spur against the pad and spinning the drill. Add fresh compound, spread it over the surface, and continue the slow pass stage of polishing. That's cleaning up nice, and it even feels different. Yeah, it is, because it's smooth now. Right. Uh, the brush finish is gone, and we did it, we got rid of it with just two passes. Uh, a lot of trailers with corrosion will take five or six passes mm -hmm. to get to this point. A microfiber polishing cloth removes the residual compound. And we can move on to the next stage, the random orbit polisher. Before using the random orbit polisher, it's wrapped up in a soft cotton cloth with slits in the sides that fit over the motor housing. All right. That's our first polishing position. Okay. Uh, when it gets dirty under the pads, what we'll do is we'll take it, our second polishing position will be like that. And it and just moves we'll the move it. fabric yeah. down on the pads. The rest of the cloth is simply rolled up and tucked around the polisher. Bring the tails over like this and tidy up any loose ends. And then we clamp it with one of these little ratcheting, almost like a handcuff, it's called a cable cuff. And that holds the cloth in place while we polish in that position. Medium grade polishing compound is applied to the cloth. And then we start the machine. And you'll notice the action on the machine here is one of wiggling, not rotating. For this stage of polishing, Tom moves the tool quickly over the entire surface to even out the finish. In a little time, the aluminum shine is starting to come out. It's always important to wipe away the residual compound before starting another stage. For the final polishing stage, Tom wraps a new cotton cloth around the polisher, and we apply the fine grade polishing compound. As before, the third stage of polishing requires quick and even movement over the aluminum surface. Now, the thing that's important about this step is to keep polishing until the cloth has removed all the polish from the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be just almost nothing left there in terms of black polish when we're done. And then we'll go over it with the microfiber and clean it up and buff it up.
and a final clean and buff with the microfiber towels does the job. A smaller buffing wheel works great for polishing around the Airstream's rivets and seams. Time to get to work on the rest of the exterior. Only about 190 hours to go to finish polishing our Airstream. Fortunately, I get a little help from my friends. After all that polishing, our Airstream's exterior is looking great. When we come back, we'll add the finishing touch to the exterior, a new awning 